Hey guys, it's Marlo and I'm back with yet another video review. This time it's for the NECA Robocop vs. Terminator action figure here. Now, if you saw my previous video, I did a review of the Endocop. Now this is the accompanying piece, which is Robocop. So let's take a quick look at the packaging art. Some great artwork there by comic legend Walter Simonson from the uh, famous miniseries. There is another image there from the comics. And some great product shots there at the back. If you want, you can read that little recap. Just pause the video. And again, on the other side, some more artwork there by Walter Simonson. <clears throat> like the other box, if you open it up, there's a nice flap. Great collector box. And you can see, again, some more great product images there. And, of course, the figure inside looking really, really cool. Alright, so let's open it up and take a closer look at Robocop out of the package. Alright, and here we have Robocop out of the package. And let's take a closer look at him. He's pretty similar to the previous Endocop release. I'll put a link in the description to that video if you haven't seen it already. You can see here he has the arm of the endoskeleton. But on his left left side or his left arm he has a different apparatus there he has a missile launcher and on his back he has all this stuff a bunch of missiles and whatnot as well as a gatling gun which can swivel up and around so let's oops <clears throat> let's do that real quick so yep that swivels forward like so the rest of the missiles don't really do anything, they're just kind of there. But, you know, you can pretend he's going to use them to blast all of the Terminators. So he has a bunch of points of articulation throughout, as you can expect from NECA. Arm swivels up and down, you can see the pistons working there. Arm also goes in and out, as well as up and down, like so. There's some swivel at the waist. Let's see if I could do that with my one hand. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. And some articulation at the head, which is on a ball joint. So some good rotation there. The legs go up and down. You can see the uh, connection there. So it can also go in and out a little bit. Knees bend. And the feet also go up and down. Again, they are on like little pistons, so you can see how that works, which is really cool. So, <clears throat> let me get him posed up and show you how he looks side by side next to the Endocop figure. Let me see. Stabilize this guy a little bit. Uh, let me have him just sort of lean against the box, perhaps. So there is Robocop. And here is the Endo Dog with the Endo Cop from my previous video. So there is a quick comparison. You can see the differences with the two figures. Legs look to be pretty much the same as well as the body. The right arm looks to be pretty much identical. So there's differences there with the head sculpt and the left arm and most notably the additions to Robocop at the back with all of the missiles so let's take a quick look at that you can see all of the differences there so really cool figures I mean you're definitely gonna want both of them if you want to collect the whole series and reenact what went on in the comic series. Oops, let me get them posed up. So, there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, take care, and keep on collecting. Bye-bye.